All right, so I figured I'd do a little, little unboxing um, on the product. Uh, I missed my opportunity to do that with the Soul Guard uh, Life Pack Endeavor. I bought this a long time, like uh, maybe like seven, eight months ago. Um, if I had to guess, I think it was. Maybe even less than that. It might have been around December. I think it was, yeah, like December. So I've had that, I don't know, six, seven months now. Um, I did, you know, some traveling with it. Um, got to test it out. Oh, wait. Was it then? I think I've had that a little longer because I've, I've done some work trips with it. I've gotten to go out of town, pack it full, travel on the plane with it. I did go to Alaska with it into the Arctic Circle <clears throat> um, up to see the Northern Lights and I actually you know I had to pack you had to layer up a lot so I did I managed to pack a lot into that for uh, several days up in the Arctic Circle a lot of layers and didn't really have to repeat clothes at all so the closet that came with that is uh, it's pretty nice um, it's a good bag few criticisms I'm hoping the Hive Tropic Fill Hive can um, can remedy um, so I'll, I'll unbox this and we'll get to looking at it all right all right the box open Let's do it so everything comes individually packaged by what you ordered I ordered the hive and mold green <coughs> And that's it. And then I ordered the 12 liter packing cube. I'm going to put Beyond Travel there in their logo and everything. Uh, and then what it is with the barcode. And then I got the closet system, obviously. Um, now, I did have the closet system from Soul Guard. I could use that. But this one's designed to uh, work with this bag. So, first things first, I'm going to do that. Um, it's a pretty good little tag here already. Like I can feel the uh, the top. That's something Soul Guard's closet uh, didn't actually have. Um, you know, matter of fact, we could just compare them side by side. But, uh, so I have Soul Guard's closet. Um, I went and got that from my closet. Still have some leftover uh, clothes from the from a trip uh, I just recently took backpacking across the five national parks in Utah. Um, it's got some clothes down here. Now you can tell though, um, you know, it's, it's zippered, but the top, it's just, it's all this like, I guess nylon polyester blend or whatever. Um, and it's got their Shortex fabric. It's, I guess that's what this is. It's the Shortex fabric. It's got that branded on the back. And it's a little long, you know, it's pretty big. Um, it's got a hook on it. Um, you can do some research on their website. It's Soul Guard. Um, that's the brand. But anyway, <clears throat> that one's that. This one it has some structure to it. Um, right off the bat, you can you can feel the structure. Um, the straps on the side are a little wider. Um, it comes with a little elastic band, I guess, to keep the straps um, kind of organized when they're all compressed like this. That's, that's a nice touch. Um, the clips, a little wider. Ah. This one, you can carry it from the top, it's structured, but it's definitely a lot smaller. So side by side, that's the difference. So I'll be interested to see how much that can fit and pack compared to that one. But the structure that this provides hopefully will prevent some of that hamburger, hamburgering when you compress it down when it's full. Because and, it, and it's all, it's the mesh back there that's nice. Um, kind of the same structure obviously it's got the slotted pockets here it's got one large one on the sides on each side which I like a little better than that 
and then the open section in the middle like that one, and then the two halves uh, that unzip, and there's not really any structure to those. I don't think there's any in this one either. Though. No, just a divider. But then it's one full zip, and this is two half zip uh, mesh pockets. It feels durable, high quality. I think it honestly feels better to me than that one, um, the mesh. But again, it's all about what you can fit. I, I, I care more about being able to pack it down and compress it. I think this will compress better though. So that's that's that. <clears throat> now you can open the four wheeler package, which I think is going to be a difference maker and uh, might even give um, this hive an advantage when paired with the smaller closet over the larger closet of the Soul Guard. Like I said, I'm going to be testing this stuff uh, again. I, I'll probably let my girlfriend use that on trips and we'll see how they both do on the same trips even, side by side. I like that idea. I don't know, I'll, I'll start testing this. I will be taking this in, uh, you know, out of town this weekend and then uh, out of town again for work over the week. So I'll get some good experience with it. I'll be flying with it. Now this is interesting. It's, Assume, assuming this is like the 50% compression in the second zipper, but I can't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so that allows that to expand what you pack and I, I guess compress later. And it's got a little hook, which is pretty neat. This is, <clears throat> I think, something they pulled from the Nest backpack that succeeded. Um, and you got the little elastic stuff so you can you can stuff I guess t-shirts, swimming trunks, shorts, whatever in there. You could put some toiletries in here. I'm gonna use the this bag for that a lot because I didn't order their little toiletry kit that has the fidlock system. Um, so I'm gonna be using this for toiletries. You can even put toiletries in here. Again, it's all mesh. Sure hope you can actually see this stuff. Well, to be honest, yeah, cool. Um, it's got mesh in here, mesh there, and the third pocket runs the length of that there. You can put toiletries in there even. Uh, clothes, and some more clothes, another mesh pocket here, or um, whatever you want, I suppose. And then, just zip it up. The hook is cool because, you know, if you're traveling, you need hostels or hotels or whatever, you can, you can hang this up and just have everything organized and sitting in front of you to see it, which I think is, is pretty neat. Um, so then, assuming after you get it packed, you slip it down, and press it by 50% they claim, and then zip it up there. <coughs> And then you're ready to go. You get a little flap there. Uh, now for the main, the main course, uh, yeah, the actual hive. So, now that everything's in the box, we'll put all the plastic back. We can take the box on the other side of the bed. And there it is. There's the spider net system there. Oh, it, I think I get it. You, you unhook that and hook it through those loops. But anyway, this has the fidlock um, front, I guess nipples for you to attach tech kit or toiletry kit there, pocket there for your, your you know, smart packing cube or whatever you really wanted to go in it there after it's been packed. And then I think this actually you undo it like that and then I think you go through these and that's what these are for perhaps I, but again I don't really know how it works maybe you're supposed to
to go like that. I don't know. The videos made it look pretty easy. Got some, some stray fibers there. Oh. So maybe it's supposed to go through there and then back in. I don't, I don't really know. That might be what how the spider net system works. Maybe it's supposed to be facing the other way so that can hook in easily. Again, I don't, I don't know, I'll have to look at it when it's full, but it's certainly not very easy to undo like that. And they make them look pretty easy to undo. Maybe that's not supposed to go. Maybe like that. The video doesn't show it like that, I'm pretty sure, on their website. But maybe it's supposed to be like that and then through there to keep it in place. Like that? I don't know. You, you just kind of get the hang of this over time because I can't get that out as easily as I do in the video. Or maybe it's supposed to. Oh, it velcros. That's it. <clears throat> I'm just a moron. So, and then it goes over. It. Yes. So when that's all packaged away, I'm guessing it sits a little below it, like that. And that's how that goes. Um, I mean, you do have carrying cases. Now it does have some structure, some hard backing. Um, and it does have the the padding there for your back, one for comfortability, but two, more importantly, for the breathability for air to kind of flow, it keeps the rest of the bag separated from you. Um, has a little more structure. I do like that the weight distribution of the carrying handle is in the back instead of towards the front, like the sole car. It might make it a little more uh, like relevant. I never carry my sole guard from the side like that, but. Anyway, this is going to be the bane of my existence when it comes to this bag. I can't get this out very easily. And then <clears throat> you just Velcro it, and that's back to in there. But that's that spider net system they advertised in the nest and is returned with the hive. The hive seems like a, a decent hybrid between the, the shell and the nest, but it. it it can actually pack more on their website. It says up to 46 liters here. I think the shell only gets up to 40 or something like that. Now that's obviously if you're using a 12 liter packing cube, um, like a, the 20 liter bag with the closet, and then I'm um, assuming like a four liter toiletry kit or something there. And then they have uh, the most exciting feature to me um, uh, about this compared to the Soul Guard is the kangaroo pouch for you to fit shoes in. And that comes down here and hooks in uh, pretty easily, hopefully a little easier than that. But then you've got a shoe pouch right there um, that sits underneath it naturally. And it has some expandable bungee straps for hiking poles or tent poles or something or other um, whatever you, you could fit there. I don't really know what you could fit there. To have that, again, I'll probably do another video when this thing's packed all the way out and ready for one of my trips that's coming up. Um, I do like that. I like that that's integrated. I tried to do, I saw that on their website and I tried to do something with Soul Guard eventually because I saw this and I didn't notice this for a few months and then I realized they have a little pocket here 
But now they do have a lot of cool hidden pockets. Soul Guard does. So does Tropic Feel. Um, <clears throat> but I, since it's at the front, it would just bounce around here. I bought like a separate shoe bag that had some slots in it, and I ran some some uh, like compression straps uh, through these slots, and then through the other ones to connect them. It didn't work like I intended though, so I never did use it. Then they have the, the water bottle slots or uh, you know, like a tripod, tent poles, whatever, here. Anything that's long. Um, and they have these. Unfortunately, I do wish they had a second water bottle slot there. But they do have these that are expandable. They have the um, extra strap there. Now you could put something in there, pretty big on the side. Uh, they have a top pocket, which is pretty neat. That it's, it's like felt lined um, and that you could you know store headphones charging cables uh, glasses they advertise on the website I'll probably use that for my glasses and then something right here you can carry I don't know keys uh, whatever in there and then the back you got this strap here. I like their little, the little clips that, that I guess I think are proprietary to them or something that they use. Um, those are pretty cool. Uh, they use it on the spider net and for the shoe pouch. Uh, those are pretty neat. All of them except for the spider net are pretty easy to undo too. Then there's a pouch that goes actually pr surprisingly far back. That's my hand is like right there. So like almost the width of the bag right there for a passport, wallet, whatever you wanted to have there. Um, you got a little chest strap there. It's the same kind of chest strap that can slide there that a lot of the camping packs have. I have noticed though, Solgar had one. As you can see, it's not there anymore because it falls off. I use this bag on the motorcycle, and I think I like to secure it to my chest when I'm riding. And I, anyway, after giving it a decent bit of use, it came off. So I'll see. Tropic Fields is a little better. I branded it. They do have this yellow. I'm not crazy about the yellow. I do like the green in, in this bag, and I like the shell. Tropic Fields shells green uh, best, as well as Soul Guard's green and black combo. Green solid. It's a, it's a good one. Doesn't get as dirty as easily as a lighter color, um, but it's not just plain black. Um, gives it a travely look. I just am not too crazy about the yellow, but it was the best <clears throat> color they had. I didn't want to go with black. Most of the things I get are black, but uh, these backpacks I kind of just didn't want to go with black. And then here's another really cool feature um, that I like that they have in this bag that they've never had in any of the other ones. It's a little like fanny pack, they call it a bum bag, which to me is pretty stupid. Um, I don't like that name, so call it a uh, fanny pack, um, a little hip bag, whatever. It's got pockets on the front too that are layered, so this one sits on top of this one, so they both go to the bottom. Uh, it's pretty neat, that goes around and then it works, with the, since it velcros to that, um, it works as like a belly, like a, a waist strap for support, which is, in my opinion, the coolest part of it. It's an integrated fanny pack. When you drop this off, if you're just wanting to go somewhere and wanted something just to carry your basics, uh, maybe you're in a bathing suit, something that doesn't have pockets or has very shallow pockets, and you can't really you know, carry much, that, that's a great thing for once you drop your stuff off on vacation you're ready to go out and just do a few things like i said waist strap for support to redistribute the weight so that's pretty cool um so now we've gotten to the outside exterior gone through all the pockets let's take a look at the interior now so first thing this outer pocket um oh Evidently, it does go all the way down. That's great. I uh, thought it did, but it didn't look like it looked like it stopped. Clamshell opening already. Great feature there. Uh, impressed with that. The only thing I wasn't so sure about when I ordered the bag is that the laptop pocket, it's in the front. <clears throat> oh, 
of the bag or back, wherever you look at it. But it's on the outside of the bag, away from your body. So for weight distribution, that might not be so good. So I'm not crazy about that. But we'll see how that works um, in practice, especially over the next week. I have a very thick laptop for work. It's it's a it's a beefy beefy laptop for work. Now for travel, I would not use that. For normal travel, I actually use something something like this. It's not even a laptop. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. It's a shell. Um, it's it's called the U Perfect X. It's kind of like the Next Dock, but it came out first um, before their 360. But it, it goes 360. It's touchscreen. You have keyboard, backlit, trackpad, um, and it hooks up to my phone, which is actually what I'm recording this review on, or this unboxing. Um, so you use like a DEX-enabled cable. I have a Samsung phone, which is DEX mode, and it brings up uh, a, uh, like a desktop user interface. That's, just, that's what DEX stands for, desktop experience. But a uh, little plug there, I do love these. This has been great. I'll probably recommend Next Dock 360 over it because it has one extra USB-C port, but this thing's great. Not the point of the review, just a simple plug. Anyway, that's really lightweight. That might not be such a bad thing going in here. Uh, you know, with everything going on, uh, you got cable ports. You know, I don't really have a ton of cables. Uh, I have my big laptop charging cable for that. So for work, I will have a lot of cabling, but for normal travel it would just be this this is what I charge my phone with my tablet with and it's what plugs into this um, to charge it and then this I have a second cable uh, somewhere I thought it was in there but it's not and it hooks up my phone to the dock so it's very lightweight and then a Bluetooth mouse um, so those are the things I carry day to day uh, one charging cable for everything is kind of nice <clears throat> helps me condense. I do love minimalistic travel. So there's that. Um, but again, yeah, for the for the big work laptop, it might be a problem. Let's see if it even fits. I'm not even sure it would fit in there. It fits. So they say it carries up to 16 inches. I think um, it fits perfectly in there. It's actually. The, probably on the maximum side of what you could fit, um, but it does fit. <clears throat> Again, what I might end up doing in practice is getting a laptop sleeve. Uh, I have a couple of them. And just throwing that thing here in the back behind the closet when it's loaded out so that the weight is still back here. And then use this for random stuff, maybe toiletries, I don't know. Um, but you got that, that's cool. You got another pocket here. All mesh for some smaller cables or pins or something. And then the closet is intended to go in here like this. Um, you know, when it's packed out, it's not really going to fit too well. So, what they thought of is another zipper, which I will admit, uh, a few minutes ago when I was unzipping that, I thought this zipper was was a back access, and I was really happy, but I realized it's an expansion. So, thankfully, it only gives it, you know, just another inch, just enough, I think, for the closet to fit. Um, that's actually not very big and I like that because that is about how wide this one is when it's not when it's compressed when it's not expanded um, another thing about Soul Guard just for people who've seen both and are debating on which backpack it is Soul Guard much cheaper it's about the cost especially when it's on sale I got it for about 205 which was I got this for 225 normally it's like 225 I think so it's about the cost of this bag with no add-ons, no closet, no I mean the whole point of the bag wouldn't come with it. This one's 225 and it comes with the closet. Um, mine even came with a little toiletry kit as a gift and I got it for 205. So that was nice. But you can see when this one's condensed, it's a little it's even still a little wider than this one when it's when it's expanded. 
Um, I'd say you know they're roughly about the same when this one's expanded as when this one's condensed. But when this one is expanded with its compression, this is the reason I ended up getting this, actually. The reason I ended up looking back at Tropic Field. I saw Tropic Field. For some reason, I didn't go with it on the Soul Guard. I wish I had gone with the shell, but everything works out because I like the hive better and it wasn't out at the time. It wasn't even a thought. But this one, when it's expanded, it's huge. I can't stress how big that is on the back. It looks like a turtle shell. I mean, it comes out the entire, it expands the, the width of this backpack. So anyway, that's just not very reasonable. I mean, you can't, you can't really, it's just, when I was traveling to Alaska, and I will admit, that being so flexible and not having a structure, you can really shove me in. I packed that thing out for that Alaska trip and was able to wear it like this, condensed. I just had to literally lay on it <laughs> while it was, I had to pack it expanded. Since it doesn't open the clamshell, you have to like slide it in, expanded, and then I laid on it to zip it and condense it. And that was actually a pain. And then going through TSA at all the airports, um, the three airports we had to go through, they kept undoing it and then taking everything out and then they'd expand it, which was hard enough to get it ex like condensed and go through all the clothes um, at some of the smaller airports at least. Um, Atlanta's airport was big enough. They have these nice scanners or something and they were just, they, or they just don't care. They just let me send it through and they said it was good. The little ones, they had to take the little handheld wands and go through it, but anyway, it was a pain to deal with. So hopefully this one, I never experienced that because I do like that that only expands enough to fit the closet. It's much nicer. So now I'm guessing it would fit a little more. And see, it's, it's designed to just sit in there. That's, that's pretty nice. I, mean, you know, I guess you can... I wish there was like a little hook. There's no point for it, but if there was, I could leave it up like that and then zip it. Um, but I guess I could do it like that. <laughs> How it's designed. <clears throat> Long way. Love you. Uh, unboxing at least. Probably condense it, but yeah, that fits. And then when it's packed out, it'll be like that. It'll be a little weighty. It's heavier than that one, I gotta admit. And the, the, the life pack from the Soul Guard. It's, it's a little heavy, so I'm glad that it comes with a waist strap fanny pack because that's gonna come in handy. And oh, another thing I didn't even I didn't even touch on. It's sewn together. It's got offloading straps for uh, weight distribution. This is almost, I mean, you can tell this is more for outdoor travel or, or tropical travel. I mean, that's where the name comes from. Soul Guard's Life Pack is definitely an urban explorer's bag. You know, it's made to go in cities. This, I mean, it has features that are like reminiscent of like my Osprey, you know, Osprey hiking pack, my backpacking pack. It's got the offloading shoulder straps for when, you know, it's heavy. It's got a chest and a, a waist strap. The waist strap, the shell has that too, and the waist straps are nice. I wish these had them. It definitely helps a lot. But that's my unboxing. Now you do have two more pockets I almost forgot about that I saw right here, or whatever I guess you want to put and you don't need access to, because again, you can't get to that any other way than here. There's no rear entrance. So those would be the things you really don't need on the trip until you get there and unpacked. So I'll load this up. I'll probably do some other videos um, when it's packed out before I go on any trips. And we'll see how it does over the next week or so on my travels. And they will be various kinds of travel, you know, to the beach, um, to a plant I'll be, I'll be uh, going to for work, uh, overseeing some contractors and stuff uh, out in Texas. See that? I had trouble getting it off right there, uh, getting it to go around. So not a fan there. I don't know what's causing me to hold up right there every time. So, I'll probably
probably. I don't understand what's causing that, but I'll probably tinker around with that after this video is over. Well, it went around. Brute force. That's how you do it. Anyway, I might order the Fidlock toiletry kits later. It just seemed like they were so bulky um, that they hung off so much, and that's the thing I wanted to prevent. It was a lot of bulk. So that's it. Tropic Fill Hive unboxing. Uh, I like it. I'm excited to try it out. So we'll see how it goes.